Did you know our grasslands are turning to desert? These grasslands that are so important for life. They hold soil in place, store water, store carbon, and feed billions of life forms. One third of the Earth's land surface faces the threat of desertification. Imagine the impact of losing our grasslands on civilization, on the Earth. What if I told you that we had the power to change it? But to change it, we must understand it. Imagine a world of large herds of caribou, buffalo, and other grass-eating species migrating over the lands with their predators. The soils, plants, and animals developed together and lived in balance. Large herds grazed, defecated, stomped, and salivated on the land, which built soil and deepened plant roots. Over time, however, these wild herds have almost entirely disappeared and have been replaced with a low number of sedentary livestock. This disrupted the balance of birth, growth, death, and decay. Grasslands depend on biological decay to survive. And without it, desertification persists. Desertification has long been blamed on overgrazing, too many cattle, sheep, and goats. Although not backed by science, this belief led to human policies and technologies to control desertification, such as removing animals and rejuvenating grasses with fire, further contributing to the problem. While fire does offer short-term benefits by removing dead material to allow new green flush, it also destroys soil cover and puts carbon into the air, causing long-term damage. Destocking animals allows the land to rest but overrest inhibits biological decay and can lead to fires. The process must be biologically active. Grass needs animals to thrive. Recently, we discovered that the problem can be reversed with the very thing on which it has been blamed, herds of livestock, a new form of management that mimics the natural behavior of wild herds and restores the balance that once was. This can be done through holistic planned grazing. With a holistic approach, the natural cycle can take place. The grasslands can be healed, people can thrive, and the earth can be restored. Plants, animals, and soils developed together. Only when our approach to livestock management mimics nature will our grasslands begin to thrive. Under the research and direction of Alan Savory of the Savory Institute, this methodology to reverse desertification has been proven successful in parts of Africa, Australia, North America, and South America. Be a part of this change.